whether you read two books a week, which as a slow reader, I have no idea how anybody does that sustainably, or if you're stuck on the 11th page of an uninteresting book given to you by a well-intentioned friend, everyone from professors to parents to psychologists thinks that your time is being well spent. And whether it's been a while since your attention was truly captivated by a book, or you have no problems getting lost in a book at all, we have a few things to sh <laughs> We have a few things to share in today's video to help you deepen your reading process and to help you escape more deeply into literature. Reading literature is fun. It's enjoyable, it's pleasurable, and it helps me forget that the world is on fire constantly. Which brings me to the focus of today's video, escapism and literature. Maybe you've thought extensively about it, maybe you haven't, but not only does reading feel good, it can also offer us an escape from bad things like boredom or stress and some people the experts i mentioned a moment ago for example insist that reading is a great thing because it helps us understand and communicate with other people more easily they say that reading keeps our brain sharp that it expands our worldviews and helps us to grow as individuals and i know that's true but sometimes it doesn't feel true sometimes i'm just tired and all of those things mean nothing to me. Sometimes I am utterly bored and disappointed by the books I'm reading. But then there are those rare, rare moments when reading literature transports us to an entirely new world. Those moments when we get lost in a book that we love. For some, it's an action-packed, page-turning plot. And for others, it's beautiful prose or musical poetry. And for others, it's just a single genre. No matter the kind of book that engages your attention, in today's video, I have a few things to share in order to help you get lost in the books you read. I wanna deepen your reading process and help make the act of reading more enjoyable for you. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First and foremost, as I see it, stories that detail the lives of people teach us about the kinds of people that we aspire to be, even if we don't know it. If I say that reading makes us think and feel in new and different ways, I probably wouldn't be telling you anything you already didn't know. So let's push that idea a little deeper. I think to get lost in a book we love is to become a different person, even if only for a few minutes or hours. We can become temporarily, or in the best case, scenario, we can become a person whom we might otherwise have never been. Our personality traits change as the world of the text whirls in our head, and we climb into the lives of the people on the pages before us. When you retreat into the welcoming world of literature, you feel higher levels of emotion. You laugh, you cry, you worry, you feel disgusted, angry, surprised. There's no shortage of science and evidence to back this up. By observing the lives of the people you find on the page, your understanding of human beings is deepened. And I think that's such a profound idea. And more importantly, I think it's a good thing. Because in this age of heightened and instantaneous connection to other people, it's not only necessary to understand others, but also to understand yourself. To get lost in a great work of literature, a work you truly enjoy. You live with stories that make you think, this is the person I aspire to be, or don't aspire to be. These are the traits I aspire to have, or don't have. And getting lost in literature can do just that for us. The second reason why I think getting lost in a book is good for you is because reading can provide us with a sense of belonging that all of us need. The famed 20th century writer F. Scott Fitzgerald once said, that is part of the beauty of all literature. You discover that your longings are universal longings that you're not lonely and isolated from anyone. You belong. Humans are deeply social creatures and deeply experiencing literature can offer us the sense of belongingness. That's a word, right? It can offer us a sense of belongingness that we all instinctively crave. Social connection is an incredibly strong and powerful human 
need. Anytime we feel connected to others, the bad things in life obviously don't just disappear, but I think their weight is lessened, even if only for a moment. This is the power of reading in my mind, and maybe the power of reading for escapism is a better way of saying it. Again, there's no shortage of scientific evidence that suggests that reading can fulfill our need for human connection as a result of its ability to mimic what we actually feel during real social interactions. When you find yourself lost in a book, when you're so focused on the pictures in your head that you almost forget your reading. I think you leave this world in a very real and very meaningful way. You become a part of the world that belongs to the people on the page. You share their feelings the same way you would in the real world. But I'm interested. Let me know what book or kinds of books you most often find yourself escaping into. They can be specific titles or genres. Why do you think you get lost in the books you get lost in? This is a question I used to pose to my students at the beginning of the semester to help get them in a good headspace for reading literature. But anyways, let me know your answers in the comments. We are moving on, we're going, we're going. My third point is that I think getting lost in a good book can provide you a healthy form of escape. Obviously, ignoring your problems in the real world isn't the answer, or maybe it is. I don't know what your problems are. Ignoring my problems has usually never helped me, but my point is that getting lost in books can be good for you. And it can be good because the precision of the language grants you access to the minds and the worlds of characters to such a degree that's unrivaled by any other art form. I don't think there's any other art form that requires the kind of focus and intentionality that reading requires. And speaking from experience during times of great stress, it's really useful to retreat into a book. And this brings me to a James Baldwin quote, which I love and I have mentioned plenty of times before on this channel. It was books that taught me that the things that tormented me most were the very things that connected me with all the people who were alive, who had ever been alive. So find the kinds of books you can lose yourself in and dive in head first. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll visit this playlist, which is full of videos I've created to help you enjoy reading more. And I also hope you'll zoop that like button, subscribe, and share your most profound experience with reading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.